What is up guys? It is James from Swimbait Chronicles. I am out here on beautiful Lake Sahara in Las Vegas today filming for Lucky Tackle Box and I'm bringing you the Biwa 7 4 inch bait that comes in this month's box. If you guys are looking to get into big baits, the Biwa 7 is a great way to start and kind of get your feet wet. The 7 stands for 7 segments. So this bait has a lifelike swim to it. And what we're throwing today is the four inch version. They come in bigger versions also, but this is what you guys are getting in this month's box. And with fall coming, those bass are gonna be moving into the backs of creeks, chasing shad, chasing bait fish. And this is the perfect representation of that. And I'm gonna show you guys how I throw it with rigging, retrieval, and location. We're gonna start off with rigging right now. Now, since this bait is a treble hook bait, think of it kind of like a, tr a rattle trap or a square bill or something like that. It comes in at just over a half an ounce. It's about two thirds of an ounce. And what I'm throwing that on today is a Lose Speed Stick. And this is a 7-Eleven heavy power with a moderate fast tip. That means this broad is gonna bend all the way down into the blank. All the way down into the blank. What that's gonna allow you guys to do is keep those treble hooks on this bait pinned to the fish so it gets it into the boat and when that fish is shaking its head it can't shake one of those those hooks loose and with that i'm throwing it on a fast reel it's a daiwa tatula hd 200 and that's a 7 3 to 1 gear ratio and what i've got spooled up on this daiwa tatula is 17 pound cigar abrazex fluorocarbon let's move on to retrieval Now as far as retrieval goes, I'm going to run parallel with the bank. I'm going to have a nice slow retrieve, counting it down to whatever depth I want with the occasional pause and a lot of times you'll get hit on that pause. Now during that slow retrieve you can also kind of softly pop your rod tip and that's going to cause the bait to kind of erratically dart out to the side. Ooh, got a little follower. A lot of times you'll get that hit on that pause or that pop because they'll be following it and they'll look for a little change in cadence. They're, it's just like anything else, it's just like a spinner bait or a rattle trap. They'll look for that little stop or pause and that's when they'll bite. Another thing I like to do is rod tip up a little bit and just kind of burn it across the top. And that's another reason I'm using a high speed reel is because I can always slow myself down but if I want to reel it fast, say early in the morning or late at, you know, a little bit of cloud cover or later in the evening, I can lift my rod tip up and reel a little bit faster and I can have this thing kind of just burning right across the top of the surface and it creates a great little wake, little ripples on the water. A lot of times you'll get hit with that too. As fall gets closer, a lot of these bass are going to follow the, sh the bait back into the coves and creeks and pockets of, of different lakes. A lot of them are going to follow the highways that are underneath the water, the, the channel swings, the creek beds, the old road beds, weed lines, stuff like that. They're going to follow the bait fish back into the arms of these creeks. And they're going to get them up shallow and they're going to trap them. Some of the bigger fish as they're transitioning are going to, they're going to stop at key points. They're going to stop it at boats, at docks, stuff along that route moving from deep to shallow and back and forth and they're going to set up on on different areas and on corners of boats or on corners of docks and they're going to wait to ambush these these bait as they're moving back and forth so as you're moving in and out of these creeks or if you're on the shore if you're walking the, the arms of the creeks and stuff like that make sure to make sure to focus on those little irregularities this whole this whole side right here 
it's all straight right here and then we've got a dock and a boat so that's a key point that's where you want to cast to and as I'm retrieving it I'm going to do a slow retrieve past the boat you know just subsurface on the boat and I'm going to pause right at the corners of the boats or the corners of the shade lines and a lot of times that's when you're going to get that strike that bass is going to come out see that bait fish stop and they think it's kind of broken off the school bass are opportunistic so they're going to take that chance when they see that bait fish paused and they're going to jump on it Little guy. <laughs> well, that's not what we're after, but that shows you guys that these things work. Now, a lot of times you guys will hear, oh, that bait's too big, that's too big. Let's look at that fish ate that bait. Don't believe that these things are too big. Bass will eat them. Nice. So he choked that thing. Now if you got a fish bleeding like this, you want to get him back in the water as soon as possible. So I'm gonna I'm gonna give him a quick dunk. Alright guys, the BWA7 working. Let's get him back in the water though because he's bleeding. Don't want him to be out for too long. Um the BWA7 four inch. It's a great bait for fall. Right now, they're not all the way in the back of these pockets yet, but they're starting to move back. I caught him about midway through on this inlet, um, and they're starting to move out off of Main Lake and <clears throat> out off the points back into these pockets, chasing little bait fish around, and this BWA7 is the perfect fit for that right, right around this time of year. Again, the BWA7, four inch. It's a great bait st to start out with if you guys are looking to get into swim baits. The seven stands for seven segments in the body, so it's got a super realistic uh, swimming action to it. It can be a deadly weapon in this early fall bite when those bass are chasing bait fish and looking to feed up for their winter, their winter haul. You guys, thank you so much for tuning in. This is James from Swimbait Chronicles. You guys can check out my channel, Swimbait Chronicles, on YouTube. The link's down below in the description. Make sure you guys click it and subscribe. And then uh, if you're not subscribed to Lucky Tackle Box, make sure you click and subscribe to them. If you guys aren't subscribed to their monthly box yet, make sure you do that. Because they give out some awesome baits every month. So, thanks you guys for watching. Stay safe out there. Tight lines. You're going to want to hop this bait right off the ground. You're going to want to hop it a few times, let it sink. Pump your rod a few more times, let it sink. They're going to be aggressive. They're going to want to eat it like that.